Shalom. Welcome to 6 by 6 Learning six minutes a day, six days, and you have a full idea from the Lubavitcher Rabbi and Lakute Sechas. And now we're going to talk about an interesting idea in the Chumash, where the Jewish people were approaching Israel, and the tribe of Shimon that uh, came to him, to Moses, and he wanted to say that I want to marry or get together with a Midianist, a girl from the Midian tribe, and is it allowed or not allowed? Moses says it's not allowed to intermarry with a non-Jewish woman. Ooh, Zimri, the leader of Shimon, said, a Simeon, they call it in English, said, well, wait a minute here. You say not allowed, but remember, who did you marry 40 years ago? Well, Moses' wife was Sipara, and where did she come from? She was a Midianite also. So how did you get to marry a Midianite woman, and you're telling me that I can't? So then this is a major affront in front of all the Jewish people. Moses was uh, confronted with a big question, and he said, well, it actually says in the Gomorrah that it was hidden from him. He wasn't allowed. What are you going to do? He was going to marry her right in front of all the Jewish people, and he actually was doing that. And then Pinchas, that he said to Moses, well, Moses, I remember you, you the law, gay, gay taught us the law, that if someone uh, buried someone in public, so to speak, it's a desecration of God's name, if you are allowed to kill, kill him. You don't teach that way, you don't around telling people to kill each other, but in any case, that is the law. And Moses then said, well, the, it's an Aramaic, but... The writer of the letter should carry it out, meaning if you have a good idea, then you do it. If you think you're the one to do it, of course, as a side, this is an important lesson for us. There's always people who are to say, oh, someone should, and why doesn't anybody do something about it? Well, if it really bothers you, then maybe you're the person that should be carrying it out and helping it out. And that's a lesson that we learn from this idea of Moses telling Pinchas. And Pinchas took up upon it, and he, and we uh, say it in my language, shish kebab, both uh, Zimri and his girlfriend, the Midianite woman, and they were killed, and miracles happened. The tribe of Shimon was doing so, what an affront, killing our leader? Who kills a leader of the Jewish people? But the miracles happened, and he was saved. And that's the basic story in the Chumash. But what we're going to delve into, what is the halachic, what is the law about uh, why did Moses actually did marry a Midianite woman? Maybe that Zimri was right. I mean, was right. She was a Midianite. How was Moses able and uh, allowed to marry a Midianite woman when he's telling everybody, and for nowadays also, it's not allowed to marry a, a non-Jewish woman? How was that allowed for us for, for us to also? So that's an important question on the table, and that is the point, really, of this Rabbi Sicha. So one of the major answers was, when did Moses marry uh, Tzipara, his wife? Well, if you remember the beginning of the Chumash, and the, of the Shmos, of the book of Exodus, it was before the giving of the Torah giving the Torah really happened many years later after he married her, and therefore the laws of the Torah weren't incumbent upon the Jewish people. After the giving of the Torah, like we've been saying, it wasn't allowed to marry a Gentile woman, but before the giving of the Torah, the Jewish people had a law of being regular Gentiles. They weren't really, I mean, they were Jewish because they were children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but they didn't, it weren't incumbent upon them to keep the turn the mitzvah. So when he married Zipara, then it really was allowed because it was before the laws were given and he was able to marry her the way she was, even though she was a Midianite woman. Um, well, that is a basic answer. But trouble is, why didn't Zimri know that? I mean, look at his question. How were you allowed to marry her? So what was on his Zimri's mind? that he was allowed, that he questioned Moses. Didn't he know that answer too? 
that Moses would have married her long ago before the giving of the Torah, before the laws were given. And now, once the laws were given after the giving of the Torah on Mount Sinai, then uh, it isn't allowed. I mean, it's a good answer, but it's so good and so basic of an answer that um, Zimri should have known about it. We're going to leave you with a question, and like in good television, that we're going to uh, keep you hanging, so you'll turn into part two next time.